Okay, so welcome back to Miss Curtis's art class. Today we are going to be learning about Eric Carle. So Eric Carle was born in 1929. He was an American designer, illustrator, and writer of children's books, many of which you may recognize. He is most noted for The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and that was a picture book that has been translated into more than 66 languages and sold more than 50 million copies. So his career as an illustrator and children's book author took off after he collaborated on Brown Bear. Brown Bear, what do you see? He has illustrated more than 70 books, most of which he also wrote, and more than 145 million copies of his books have been sold around the world. So what is your favorite Eric Carle book? Today we are going to draw a flower in the style of Eric Carl, and I'm going to show you how to draw that first and then we are going to use paint to paint in our flower. Okay so the first step is we are going to draw the middle of the flower which is a circle shape towards the top area of the paper. So I am going to take my pencil and draw a circle shape about the size of a quarter and it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, mine is not, and that's okay because this is a flower and this is something that's more organic and living in nature, so it doesn't have to be perfect. The next step I'm going to do is start to make some petals. Now, all of these petals are going to be very similar. We are going to have an angled line coming off of the circle and then an arch shape, just like a rainbow and another straight line coming down, angling in. Now I am going to repeat that all the way through. If you need to rotate your paper as you make your petals, you can do that. So an angled line with a little bit of space in between, an arch like a rainbow, and a straight line coming down. Okay, so now I have my flower. The next step I'm going to do is I am going to make a stem for the flower. So the stem is going to be a straight line going down to the bottom of my paper and another straight line that runs parallel just like so. The next step that we are going to draw are going to be leaves coming off of the stem and these leaves are simply going to look like football shapes. So they're going to have arch line to the left and then to the right and I'm going to make these leaves going one on the left, one on the right and continue all the way down the stem. Notice I'm going in a pattern every other. All right, so now that we've drawn our flower, we are going to add some color. Now, the middle area of the flower we can paint a yellow color and I'm going to use my paintbrush here. I'm just going to clean it off, make sure it's ready to go. And I have some yellow over here. I'm going to 
dip my brush into the yellow, I'm going to hold my paper tight, and I'm going to simply paint in the middle of the flower yellow. Now in Eric Carle's paintings and drawings, he, when he created his flowers, he created them with the yellow middle, and then he also took a little, tiny bit of green and put some dots of green throughout the middle of the flower. So go ahead and just take a tiny dot of green paint and put some dots in the middle of your flower. We can still see the yellow though, so don't cover all of the yellow up. Okay, now I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to switch colors. So I'm going to scrub the bottom of the container and then I'm going to check on the paper towel. Okay, it looks clear. And now we are going to use warm colors for our petals. So we are going to use red, yellow, and orange, and we are just going to dip in and out of each. It's okay if you mix them because they're warm colors and it's all right, we can mix them on to the flower as well. So I'm going to dip into the red and start with red. Again, I'm holding my paper and I'm just simply pulling my brush trying my best to stay in the lines and I'm going to dip into orange in and out and even some yellow so this is going to be a lot of fun you can so you can mix the colors as you'd like onto your picture. So I'm doing some orange. Now I'm gonna grab some yellow. And I'm going to paint in all of my flower petals using this technique. So I'd like to see all the colors, red, orange, and yellow, our warm colors throughout your petals. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up and I can't wait to see how your petals come out. Okay, so now that our petals are painted, we are going to paint the stem of our flower. So the stem of our flower is going to be a different green, so a dark green, a light green, and then we'll add some white in as well. So I'm just going to rinse my brush very carefully, scrubbing the bottom of the container. Make sure to check that it is clean. And we are going to move on to green. And we're going to do the same technique. So we're going to layer the two different color greens and a little bit of white and take our time painting in the stem and the leaves of our flower. And when this is finished, we are going to cut it out and we are going to put it on a piece of paper. So I will show you how that looks in a minute. Okay, so that completes our Eric Carl flower here. And like I said, once this dries, we will cut it out and put it on a different piece of paper. And I hope that you liked learning about Eric Carl and some of his different books. And I am looking forward to next week's lesson with you.